hello fat fans welcome to boxing blog center guys and please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe right now man also go to the notification bell icon click it and select also to drop a new banger a new exclusive video you will definitely be notified so we have a very special guest in the house a nigerian boxer known as really one lawa a guy who started boxing for a long time ago but at the same time um he made his pro debut back in 2017 you know and he's a super featherweight you look at this guy's record right here um he's uh eight and ho four knockouts already and uh resides in accra according to how he stays here but i believe he resides in nigeria I and mean, he used to box in ghana and he's from lagos nigeria um five three um uh, and uh yeah uh he's no also known as real show boy you know i i took a i took a look i took i took uh you know look at the uh, at his fights i think he has a very solid record and uh he's a super featherweight uh prospect so uh mr really one yeah, bro. Yeah, how, how you doing, bro? Hello? Is it, are you there? Good, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, if 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 the if the network there is a little bit shaky, then you can just re remove it if you want. Oh, okay, no problem. Okay, so where 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 are you now? I'm Tell us. Tell tell us about tell us about tell us about you. We would love to hear how you came into boxing, how you became a boxer. You know, you being a, a military guy. You know, I've learned that you're a military guy as well. Uh, you served the Nigerian uh, military. Yes, I served the Nigerian military, Nigerian army. Yeah, Nigerian army. So, like, how did you became a boxer? Tell us about it, man. I've been doing boxing before I joined the military. I was enlisted into the military with boxing. Special. Enlistment. Mm. And uh, like you, you, you used to fight in Ghana, right? Yes, I fought in Ghana, but that was when I turned pro. I started my career in Nigeria. Won the Lagos State Champion, and won the National Champion as well. As an assistant governor, but edition prize fighting champion. Won the Army Champion, the Armed Forces Champion. But now, and I represent Nigeria twice. The yeah, amateur. I think right. the boxing to the next level because of the passion I have for the game. I want to be world champion. Very I interesting. I'm a professional and eight and zero in the pro record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can see right. you. Are, you are, you are ranked number two behind. Uh, 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 uh what's his name? Shil, 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 Lua Shil. Shil, Shil. Shil. Yeah, you're right number two. So you guys are like competing against each other now, V. <laughs> yeah, but now I'm fighting. Okay. This is of January. Yes. Against uh, who? Against Prince Norodin. Atai. Very interesting. Uh, I'm I fighting hope, uh, for that world championship. And we'll be tied to at Very interesting. So... Uh, let me invite my co-host and of course my guys here, you know, um, Emma Tom Tom and uh, Taya Jagwe. What's up? Hey, I'm here, man. Uh, what's going on, everybody? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm really well, good, good. Real one, uh, yeah, well. not so, man. Yeah, bro. How are you, bro? Do you know, it's, it took us like a few weeks before we got this interview together because when we, when, when we are online, he's not online. And when we are available, it's not available. And the time is available, it's already late for me to just set up the, mm -hmm. uh, the system up. as like, nah. So, thankfully, we got him today. And, uh, yeah, uh, everybody had time. At least, he, uh, even though he's still he's, uh, he's in, the, in the army barrack now. So, still at work and all the stuff. But he has time for us, at least. So, now, um, Tom, uh, Tom, Tom. Yes, my brother. Uh, talk to our Nigerian brother, bro. Yeah, like what a real show boy. I'm you know, bro, you you bro you're good, you're good. I get the first time, man. Come on, like, like yeah, guy. Show boy. 
Fox Souls are doing very well now. I could see, I've gone through your records. You are absolutely impressive. And I, yeah, I can't bro, wait I'm to see best, where you're going. I know. I know. Being, being, a boxer, being a boxer and also a military man serving the federal uh, government of Nigeria, I mean, bro, the Lord is your strength, man. Oh, yeah, and yeah, 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 bro, you get it right. How do you combine your boxing career and, and your job first as a military? As yeah, a military I'm man? doing it, I'm managing, I'm pushing myself. But I think I don't have anybody to push me, but I push myself. Because of the passion I have for the game, so I think I have to do it. I'm shortly set into the military through boxing. And the military have a primary game a chance to box. So whenever I'm on duty, whenever I'm free, I'm from a fight, I'm having a fight. Oh, this is incredible to know. And so I just I try uh, and manage, manage both together, you know? Nigerians are tough people. No? Just to achieve my aim. Oh, I see how you're still, see we're still on the journey, on the world champion. Absolutely, I see the you fire know, in your eyes. So everything in life is tough, step by step, step gradually. Well, uh, it's good for Nigerians, uh, men listening all over the world. So, yeah. me and Tune so, for this interview and see Lawa, the real the, show boy. Yeah, the, the, real show boy, the real show boy of all time. <laughs> the real show boy. Yes, <laughs> man. Yeah. The, the other show that I just can't have it. Yeah, man. Yeah, hey, la, la, uh, show boy. Listen, man. Yeah. Keep, that was my ring name and that keep, was my Instagram. Keep smiling because, you know, it's a very contagious smile. That's yeah. what boxing needs. You got. Yeah. You need to have. You need to have moxie. You need to be outspoken in boxing for you to get the attention of the people and know exactly what to say. The yeah, bro. It's a pleasure, Mimi. Yeah. Pleasure. You know. So we're, yeah, we're there's excited. A re- there's man. a reason this for this connection. Yeah, yeah. This is this is good stuff, man. So let me ask you, like, what what what, what are you eyeing right now in in the world title? Who who are you looking at? Who, are, who, who what do you what do you see that you know you could you could take advantage of in the world title? Let me just tell you one thing. You see all these champions out there, all these mm-hmm. fighters, they're mm-hmm. just privileged. Sometimes in life, everything is not right. But privilege and the grace of God. If I could have the same opportunity they have, I can do much more better than them. Absolutely. That's what I said. Everything. That's my belief. I told you. Now I'm hiring somebody like Joseph Days. You can see Joseph Days. You can see mm-hmm. Gary Russell Jr. Mm-hmm. These are fighters I like to fight in the Yeah. But let me say, in Africa, if you're looking up to champions, like Zulani Tete of South Africa, or as the Dobe, the people are look. No, so if I'm opportune like the way they are, yes, could man, have the same please, they man. Hamilton, you see this, man. Them. I told you bro, that these people, I they have... Smelling, I'm smelling fire all around this guy. I'm smelling the strength, the sharpness, the sharp. I mean, I mean, I see everything. Yeah, bro, yeah, bro, bro I'm ready. I thought I, and, I don't get and ready. And he has just said something. He has just said something that strikes... And I want somebody out there listening to this guy to pay more attention to one thing this guy has said, which is nothing but the truth, nothing but the facts. You know what he has said? He has said that most of those boxers out there are just privileged. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're privileged. On his own, he is the one pushing up himself. I mean, this is a problem that African countries, African athletes are going through all around the world, you know? If you live in a country like Nigeria, you understand that it's not easy to be a military man and then still push yourself and still fight and still be around as second in Africa. Second, the best in Africa. Yet you're still in the military. I see if this guy has the opportunity, like people like Stevenson, who is the the WBO featherweight champion right now, if, if he has such opportunity, the man the ring with this guy, I don't see this guy not getting up there, not becoming undefeated. I don't see that. He just needs more encouragement. So if you're out there as a boxing fan, as a promoter, as as a manager, I want you to start searching your talents in Africa. Africa is abandoned supply. In abandon. Great talents are all around. So, my brother, um, let me let my brother uh, T.Y. ask you more questions. 
Oh, a uh, real one left, man. Oh, man. I think he had bad signal. Oh, uh, um, really? You there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but yeah. yeah I, we could continue. We could continue. I think um, he, he's he's absolutely right, man. Because I've I've seen the way he fights, and the, some of the featherweights, you know, they they they're pretty tough. But the, the way this guy fights, man, he's quick and he's very accurate. He fights on the back foot. Oh man, this Emerson, this guy, Emerson Raymond, this guy's nice. Believe what he says. If he has the right, if he has the right asset. These guys over here are privileged. They do have the proper training and the proper equipment. So I'm telling you, if if real one gets the right thing, he can do it, bro. I've seen I've seen the way he fights. Right now, he's um, he's back in now, bro. He's back in okay, now. Okay, perfect. So right now it's uh Kevin Farmer. He's gonna be fighting Jojo Diaz. Uh, I believe. I hello, believe, hello. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're right here. Yeah, I'm back. Let's yeah, go, yeah. Please. Okay. So 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 uh. uh so Jojo Diaz is going to be fighting Tevin Farmer. I was saying to this guy uh, that you have you have your accuracy, your jab, your footwork. You you fighting behind the you fighting behind your back foot is really impressive, man. And okay. that that is that is not something a lot of these guys have, you know, especially some of these fighters that are ranked. So if you're right, if you if we could get you the right connection, we, you could absolutely become a world. Tender bro, he, he has a, he has a, he has a, a promoter. Like, do you have a promoter, right? Yeah, he has yeah. a promoter, but I, I don't think he has the right connect. You don't bro, have the right bro, connection. bro. Wait, one minute, bro. Uh, do you have a promoter, Rewan? I have a promoter, promoter. Yeah, in Africa. Okay, like, uh, like, what has he done for you so far? He's the one that I've been pushing the record. Just now, or oh, with your manager? You, you also have a manager. Just like with relationship. Management, mm. boys, trying his best. You okay. know the way boxing is in the Europe is different from the way boxing is in Africa. Okay, understand? So immediately I come back from World Championship qualifier in 2017. Yeah, I turn pro, get to Ghana, I fight, mm. good fight. I come back to Nigeria. From there, because of reaching we are from the amateur times, he was just a friend, and he come to boxing as a promoter. So he likes to work with me. Work relationship. So he'll be setting fight up with me, fighting, doing well. That's just it. There is one promotion in Nigeria that is active, which is Go TV promotion. You can see or not, we're not ready to fight uh, in the weekend. Mm -hmm. So come back to why that Go TV is the active promotion in Nigeria. But I don't like being in relationship with them. Of the world, they do fighters. They use fighters and dump them. Who? Get it? Who? Go TV. Go TV. Really? They don't have a good plan for fighting. I've not fight on good TV. Not that they've not given me an offer to fight on good TV. Why not? They only they only do business. Mm. According to what I understand from them. But because people out there doesn't know what they're doing. So because of the little experience I have about the game, I play my game safe. Mm -hmm. Of course. So this fight I'm fighting this new year. My first fight in 2020, and I know it's the fight that's going to open the way for me. Because I'm fighting two titles at once. Two titles are vacant, so I want to grab the two at once. Okay. Me grabbing the, me grabbing the title and defending the title maybe in the next three six months. So I have access to challenge either the African title or any one title. The lowest rate. Either WBO Africa or the, you understand? Or WBA Africa. Okay. Right? Or African Boxing U. And for me, having the African those titles I mentioned within six months after the winning that title is a great for me to challenge any champion in the world. That's good. If good. I could have people that would support me, that would help me. As I said, it's a pleasure me meeting you people. Put me on the platform of the world. Right. That's interesting. Like uh, you, we are here for you, we are Nigerians for sure. We we'll yeah, definitely. Bro, yeah, bro. We definitely promote our own. Just that we didn't uh, like we miss each other a lot of time. Because Understand. when I when you can we were... see, you can see, you can see on the group, I was dropping a message. When you're asking me, how can you watch on those fight live? Yeah, and yeah. I was replying, if you could contact me, I can run the fight live for him. Or he never contact. If you could check my Facebook, you will see I run the fight live on the Facebook for people to see. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, that was a nice gesture. So now, um, now like. Your goal is to become a world, uh, the world, a world super super featherweight champion, right? 
the yeah, world champion. But you know there are killers in your division. I'm ready. Okay. I'm, I'm going to fight fight out with champion. What fight out with? Okay. Because not yeah, not super fighter. Yeah, yeah, in Nigeria, in Africa, generally, you have not secured a title in any weight, the box any weight. So the last weight I fought is super fed out. That's okay. why my record is there in the super fed out. Okay, tell us about Nigeria boxing. Nigerian boxers. Nigeria boxing. Nigeria boxing in general. Boxing. Like, is there an establishment in Nigeria where, uh, like, maybe like an organization or a platform where Nigerian bo boxers or boxing can flourish? Let me just say, for now, no. Or notice step by step, and you can compare Nigeria with Europe. Because if you could see independent time, it's different. In the Africa, Nigeria, we are still very far behind. Boxing, we are still very far behind. And in anything, any step, any organization in the world, for people that will get down there and do fatigue there, for people that will enjoy, will come. Mm. In boxing in Nigeria, there was a time boxing is going well in Nigeria, but they are not planning boxing well in Nigeria. Let me say in Africa, like you want to compare Nigerian boxing with Ghana boxing? No, we are very far behind. Okay, you know okay, I mean? okay. So, um, there are there are good there, there are good Nigerian there are good there are good Nigerian managers though. Uh, someone like uh, Nessie Ayala Bobo, uh, you know the guy, right? Elsie, I know him very well. Okay. I know him very well. Okay. Have you tried to like connect with him to see? Don't let me say much about him. Don't say much about him. Look like I'm, I'm just tarnishing the image. Bro, you're not tarnishing the image. Like he's a nice. Let, let me tell you, I he's one of the people assigned with my first two fights. Okay. He's a very bad manager. Let me tell you. I can't expect you as my brother Nigeria save me again. You know what I mean by that? Too so like in Nigeria. Yeah. yeah. You would like still to take me to the abroad and slave me. You don't understand that? You know, uh -huh. in Nigeria, let me, okay, let me come back to layman language. You know, in Nigeria, land like this, you be my brother, you can't uh -huh. go outside country. Yeah. You won't help me. But for inside that app, where you won't help me, you not for my egg. You won't even over shops there. You know, see, I hear like, oh, me, I know just getting time. You understand? Just give each other, you know, they pass a boundary. Me, I'll be so I did for Nigeria, I did for Africa. Everybody know me. See, him like this. Go check what you need to do. You know the sign box I will do for You know the sign box I will not get a record. You know what I said? Mm -hmm. I like to sign box I will be saying somebody don't work for here, do So then the owner to just get a fight, big fight. When they come out, they share the money, they make the money. But now, person, they do fatigue for that boxer for the best. Well, isn't you know, it? You know, isn't it? Isn't, is isn't it the one that that that? Is isn't it the one that? Uh, wait, isn't it the one that made the another uh, last fight happen? Is it? Isn't it? Isn't not the one that uh, sponsored the, the bout? Like organized it? it? Was just like a, like let me say you you hold a company, you mm -hmm. have money, you don't have connection about boxing, but you are a boxing lover, mm -hmm. and you employ somebody that knows you too about boxing and have connection, mm -hmm. he doesn't have money. But him was just using him out, telling people, I will sign you, I will do that. He's a big liar. He's a fucking liar. I'm saying it. He's a fucking liar. Nelson is Nigerian you know Niger American. You know how to convince You get it? You know how to convince a lot of people. That's convinced a lot of, a lot of Nigerian fighters. So anybody around me that tell me, ah, somebody mentioned my name, Nelson, I, love this and that. I talk to them. Open their head. They should know what they're doing. Because you don't make mistakes two times. You Let understand? me just ask so, you a question. Let me ask you something. Let me I'm just ask you. you something. You said that you've ever fought under the management of Nelson before? Yes. Could you say more about that? Have you ever been managed by Nelson before? Yes. I have a contract with Oh my, my friend, god. When I come back when I come back from Watch Fire, there was just a friend, a friend. A friend. Boxing lover. My father, I used to watch my fight all the time. I don't know much about boxing. Get it. Come down to yeah. Lagos from Abuja to watch a governor belt. I won the 2006 governor belt fight, prize fighting champion. I won five awards at the time. What happened before in Nigeria? Me traveling to Abuja to meet the Obama staff. 
for a recognition that a military fighter won a title and won five titles at once. I made the fans in the, the play. So we discuss, we talk. I say, ah, I'm here in Lagos because of you. I've been following you since the time of amateur. You understand? We make a relationship. Me living where I'm going. Started contacting. He said, you know, Nelson Ayala, just like a brother, this and that. And that. He said, he put me on contract. He will manage me. He will do this. Then no problem. So we start like that. Both of them are in conjunction. Who management to manage me? Say the truth, to say the fact. I will not lie. They bring the. I get down to Ghana and fight. I won the fight. If you go check the Google, you will see the news that take around. I was over popular then. Someone that was a player that I signed a contract, $100,000, which I was not giving penny. Unfortunately, along the line. Hold on. You signed okay. a contract for $100,000 and yeah, you weren't yeah. given any money. Yeah. That's Through what Nelson? Break our, keep listening. That's what break our relationship. So, the Nigerian base, they have been on their, their brothers, their friends, they are talking to you. Along the line, also sent a contract from America to the guy to send a promotional contract. He said from Greg Cohen, he had a lot of promotion. And that guy said, as he sent the contract to his lawyer in America, a barrister, that doing the Greg, Greg Owen, the same guy who now that like that, that has connection with top rank ESPN, that guy. Just hold on. So, as they do an investigation on the contract, the man get back to me and said the contract Nelson sent was fake. It was an arranged contract, it was fake contract. So along the line, I don't know what brought stand between both of them. Unfortunately, the other one said they can't do it with me. So I should, it's either I should follow Nelson or I follow him. Ready to do ready to do that. Nelson too started telling me he can't work with the other guy anymore. Along the line, man as a wise from the scratch. You understand? Yeah. I grew up in I grew up in a, a local area, the little I have. And I've worked with a lot of people as a military man. So I sit down and look and I observe. Nelson have some connection. You know, some little, you know, little people in boxing. And the other guy doesn't know much about boxing. He's just a boxing lover. But he has money. Because what he complains most is that the one spending money. Nelson is not spending money. And when we get to Ghana, promoter in Ghana, they love my style. They love me. Like signing me, working with when we come back to Nigeria, a lot of people calling from Ghana they want to feature me on the fight. Don't that like undercard Joseph Agbeko, Isaac Dogwe, Ghana, they, they want me to feature under the card. I'm a good fighter here and there. So the other guy was like, Look, maybe if I could get down there and I make it, maybe Nelson will take me away or confuse me because he knows uh, Nelson knows much about boxing more than him and he has connection. So from there, that's what happened with them. So I'd rather stay alone than following any one of them. Because I know both of them through each other. So And I don't want it to be like, you know what I mean, Yoruba man, I don't want it to be like, follow this guy and I'm the one that brings the connection. Or the other one said, that guy, you understand? That's why I leave both of them. Now, wow. So when I come back to Lagos, finish my military work, I do the boxing again. I'm just doing my military work. I get to the gym once in a while. You know, as a sportsman, if you're not getting to training, you feel like you're not hooking. So I get to the gym and train every week, like three times in a week. Before my promoter, the promoter that promoted me, come back to Nigeria from travel, he was like, he's been looking for me for a very long time. Yet I traveled. I said, yes. So I want to be a promoter now because of the passion I have for boxing. I tell him the step to take. I was like, maybe he's joking. The next thing I see, he posted, he has got his promotional, uh, his Promotional license. He come back to me. He look for me. How can we promote boxing? This, that, start planning it. He get to the board. That's how I do my first fight. I fought with a champion in West Africa. His name is Zongo Fire. Check my record. That's my first fight in Nigeria. Zongo Fire was a champion. Seven and no knockout. Even the board was like, I'm two and no. Sanction the promoter. Why is he going to give me a tough fighter like that? I fight Zogu Fire. I am the first person to give Zogu Fire and present of everybody. Very interesting. Me, that, I, is I, job, that is the journey. Even really, when I get really together to fight in the following month, Zogu Fire was like, he was praising me. He said, ah, fighter, he never believed. He looked down on me. A small boy like me, because he, he looked down on me. A small boy like me could. So that's how the journey is. 
to Amex Zongo Fire, my third, third winning. So, promote a Sally Glove promotion, trying, doing his best. That's why I tell you, nobody is perfect. But I'm managing myself. I'm doing this. We will, we, we will surely, we will surely support that guy. Uh, 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 give him my contact. Let him contact BBC. No problem. I will give him your contact. Because we will surely support that guy. We will definitely BBC will support that guy. That's for sure. Le uh, listen, okay. Sorry that I recommended yeah. Nelson to you because Nelson is a guy that I've known for quite some time. Now. You know, I know him as a good guy, as a good, as a good man. You know him and as a good guy, but me, I know him as a very bad person. He introduced me well, to. He has played with me. He has played a role with me, and he has done like, a lot of Nigerian fighters that are here. What he did to them. Maybe to me. You know me. I'm very free with people. Maybe I talk with a lot of hmm? people. Maybe a lot of people hmm? talk to me. Then Maybe how things go. This is absolutely wrong because, because um, if I could tell you, if if somebody is a fool, first time, I will blame, I will blame, I will blame the person that make him a fool because then he doesn't know anything. But if you fool, yourself, so so like like like, 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 like tell tell listen listen this is exclusive man this is exclusive now tell me now how did it go out of the contract? The contract was because in the contract the contract was signed if I could not say anything from them now if I could not fight for six months. The contract is automatically breached. Cut off. If you couldn't so fight for six months. Both of, both of them do not take care of me for like months. Do not hear anything from them. They're still fighting. They're not talking to each other. They block each other. So both of them talk to me privately. One sent contract signed with me. I will do this. I will do that. The other one sent different contract to me sign with me. I will do this. I will do this. But I use my brain. You understand? So I have to play safe. So that I will not be, I will not be a foolish person. At because if I could allow somebody to fool me the second time, that means I'm a foolish. Wow. Yeah, that means I don't know what I'm doing. This is serious, bro. Uh, Emma Tom Tom. And from there, even Sally, right, he knows everything yeah. about this contract. Yeah. I take this contract to him and he accept me, he accept me like that. Yeah, no problem. He's going to make me a champion. So I've been managing. You can see, for the, if you could check my record, let me say for the past five months, I have no fight. Yeah, now yeah. People are not offering me fight. Most of you have offered me fight. But I was just like, I have to play safe. So, somebody that could rescue me when I couldn't see nobody. So I have to be understandable with him. I'm patient. You have fought. You have fought twice this year. Yeah, twice. I will have fight on the card. That's, that's not. That's, that's not fight. enough, though. For a prospect, you should be having three, four fights. Yes, yeah, four fights. But because of what happened, that's why he's making fight for me in January. So I have to fight like this new year, like this. I get. I'm getting to the camp three this time. So I have to get, I've been training, so I have to get to close camp. So I prepare very well so that I can learn a lot of craft. I'm going to bring down. So, but I have to let him know the difference between the king and, and the prince. Because people call me King Lawa in Nigeria. King Lawa. That's my name. If you could see that my page, I forward to you. is King Lawa, the champion. Very interesting, bro. Like, you have a, you have a, you have a future, bro. You have a future. Like, uh, do you think at some point you would just drop a uh, military and become a, a, a pro? Like, if you get to, if you get to some stage in your career, will you, you know, just? I think, I think he would love to do that. Uh, the problem because because you cannot do down. military and boxing at some at the same time if you step yeah, up in competition. Do, I can do both, bro. I can do both, bro. Yeah. Hmm? The military I never think, deny me from going for fighting. You understand? I, I think you see that. This guy here, this guy here, here has the love for the country, and also have the love for the sport of boxing. Mm -hmm. And the military, the other way around, I am so happy for what the military has been able to do. By because the military, the military uh, enlisted me. Oh, wait, wait, uh, uh, Rewana, wait, 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 me, I'm not on talk, then you go enter. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, sorry. Okay. Sorry. So, what I'm happy, what I'm happy right now is, 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 uh, what I'm trying to say, sorry, I was in the, I was in the place of work a little bit, I was shocked at that already. So, what I'm happy is that this guy in the military has been able to combine the military career and still push himself into boxing. This is very, very impressive. And the military organization has given this guy freedom to do this. I, I am impressed. But the problem that this guy is having, people who have a willingness, a mindset to in Nigeria. That is what yes. is lacking right now. Yes. Because if this guy had good people around him, 
who loves to see Nigerian boxers are sparring and doing well without being selfish, without using Nigerian boxers to benefit themselves, and forgetting that at the end of the day is a boxer who is risking his own life right there in the ring. Now, people who are using the sport of boxing to, to benefit themselves and destroy the boxer are the people killing the sport in Nigeria. Now, how can we arrest these kind of people? Because we cannot allow these people to keep destroying our youths, taking boxing or any martial arts unpopular in our nation. How can we get bad promotion, promotion companies, the ministers, the sport people, and the people who do not have passion for sports, who are in sports right now, for selfish reason, how do we get these people off and out of our nation, Nigeria, to make that country aspiring? Well, I, I think, I think, I think Joshua, I think Joshua is the only, was the only way, bro. Why do I suggest the only way? Because if Joshua go to Nigeria, and start up a boxing it takes maybe 250 uh, 258 uh, two mgt you know his, his, his management company there like because he had i heard that the last time he's got it was going to take it to america or so other places where so if he takes it to nigeria i believe that would change a lot because we know joshua management company is a legit one joshua will never toy with anybody's money or like that nah 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 he's a legit one these guys are professional you know Look how they've, they've been able to manage uh, Joshua. Look how Steve, uh, 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 look how Freddie Cunningham has been able to manage Joshua. I'm very listen. I'm very very disappointed in Nelson. You know, after hearing from uh, 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 really one lawa, that is crazy, bro. That is crazy. That is crazy, bro. So anyway, let's. Let, I don't know if you have anything to add to it. Nelson, do you have any uh, 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 lawa? Do you have anything to add to it or what? I beg you, fee you fee. You feel loyal, you feel mute dust of there. If there's any noise there, you guys can mute, please. Okay, nobody here. In the, ba in the background. In the background. Nobody. So when I have noise that you mute it in the background. Okay. Well, uh, the real sugar boy. Thank you, bro. The Nigerian real sugar guy. I'm happy we to meet you, people. Impressive. We are very impressive with what you're doing in this part of boxing. And we are all out here not to benefit nothing but to see how Nigerian boxing can get to the level that they should be. Yes, it is so amazing that Nigerian boxers all around the world or anything a Nigerian city's mind had to do, they are doing very well outside the shores of Nigeria. So yes. When they're in Nigeria, they cannot really, really do Good. very well. But with yes. you, somebody like you, I'm, I, I strongly believe with the early statement you made, that is an opportunity they have. Yeah, it's I'm opportunity. pretty sure, yeah, given opportunity. the opportunity right now, that you would have already been a champion of the whole world. And yes, we will see how we can do. It's going to be a, a, a liaising with your management to see how we can give you better fights, better training. Uh, I, I, let's see what the future holds for Nigerian boxing. No problem, bro. Thank you. Well, so 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 let's uh, let's get your take on uh, on, on on some things now. So, how do you think we can actually improve, like up uplift Nigeria boxing? How do you think we can like like root out all these bad eggs in, in Nigeria boxing? Should we start yeah. exposing them or what? Because I I have the pla I have the platform to expose all of them people who are, yes. who are start exposing them so that people what they're doing and fighters will know the right people to work with. You understand? the fact that we know the right people to follow because some of these people they come to nigeria they run their mouth they tell nigeria fighter what they can tell nigeria fighter what they can offer so uh should we have a, like should nigerians in nigeria take hold of the situation or does it do, do, does it require attention from you know from abroad to do that abroad will be better because you know in nigeria fight do a fighter in Nigeria talking mm -hmm. about promoter that do bad or a manager that do bad that people would have attention. Mm. There was a time we were about starting a platform about the boxing, all the professional boxers will be having me. But no, there are some some bad ends. There are people that betrayed it that you don't have to trust them. Wow. I'm, a I'm a military man. I can do with any kind of person. 
I feel like oh, I, I can have a relationship with anyone that give me chance. You understand? In the military, we have different language. I can cope with anybody. Mm. Only if you don't want me to. So wow. I, I have experience of being with different types of people. So this is time you want to bring that I don't understand. Want to do that I don't understand. Saying something but I'm not saying anything doesn't mean I don't know what to do. This is exclusive, bro. I'm at top. This is exclusive. This is exclusive, bro. Absolutely. That is why, that is why, why um, this man that is putting me to the kind of person I have, you know what they can do. That's how he respects me. I will not lie. For now, I will not lie to you. I don't have a, not secure a, a pro contract. contract. So it, mean, it means, means we can actually help you out then? Yes. But when you help me, I need to let him know what is happening. Because he's been there for me at all times. Yeah, 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 no. Me, of course. Of, me, me, I, listen, me, I'm not a promoter. I'm not a, I'm not a promoter. I'm not a manager. I'm just a guy who can link contacts, you know, like link, uh, uh, you know, send your profile to some people, some people on top, and they will see, they will, they will see what they do. Like, they will, you know, they will talk to you there or your man or the guy that manages you. So it's interesting. So, like, let's go to the every division now. Uh, I you, you, even you, yesterday. Hello, are you hearing me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now, yeah, we hear you now. Oh. Hello, hello. Yeah, we are hearing you. Are you hearing me? Yeah, yeah. I said it's somebody that is ready to work and is ready to listen to him. to tell him sometime he, before he do anything, he asks me. Yesterday, I connected him on to promote. Yeah, I just want to start promotion. It was like he's been starting for me here and there. And we're friends. And he said he wants to start promoting boxing. You want to do this, you want to do that for me. I said, Anything you want to do, I'm ready. My own is to fight. As a, my own is to get me fight. Prepare me. My own is to win. They will mention my name before the city. So anything I'm doing, I'm doing it for myself. For my career. You know, I have to miss what I've been doing. Because somebody cannot just be walking, walking, and he just come along and by his work. So I have to connect both of them. They should talk. Anything they'll finish up, they should let me know. So we could know what we could do together with each other. So if you want me to connect you with him, he's a very free man. But he's a white man. But he, he was born in Nigeria. He's my friend. He friend for a very long time before I joined the military. Mm, but in B, why does it have to, does it have anything to do with it, bro? <laughs> yeah, I understand. I understand. But what I'm trying Brother, to say, uh, I want to tell him, will... bro. There's no. Somebody there's that, no, there's no, there's somebody that. Will... No, 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 it's like it's like even people that are not Nigerians, oh, wow. even people that are not Nigerians help help people that, that help, help Nigerians more than people who are, who are Nigerian. It's crazy that's, that that's uh, I mean, that's it's I mean. just crazy. Like 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 um, listen, listen. Uh, me and Emma Tom, we've known for some time now. We've known for some time now. Okay, me and Emma Tom, we've known for some time now, and you know, like I've never okay like. Emerton knows me that I'm a guy that keeps things real, that fights against in injustice. I'm a, I'm a guy because me coming from Nigeria, I know the injustice in our country. It's a lot. So why should I bring that injustice here when I came here to learn? I came here to learn to observe. And I've, I came here and saw that most of the things we do in Nigeria... We are doing it wrong. It has to be because it's not. He it has religious. nothing. He has nothing to do with tribe. He has nothing to do with religion. He has nothing to do with class. It's about our greedy, devilish, chameleon mindset that we have as people. Like because every everybody, everybody, everybody go be upon him at the end of the day. So it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm I'm devastated right now. I'm de I'm devastated right now. So I want to get your opinion uh, because we cannot talk about Nigeria boxing without talking about Nigerians uh, outside the country. You know, uh, we are born outside. So what do, what do you think about uh, Anthony Joshua? Anthony Joshua is doing well. I would say that I live in Nigeria, drop in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. You think you wouldn't have it? Yeah, because. Uh, well, 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 but, but bro, uh, Samapita was born in Nigeria. Yes. He, bought, he was born and he lived there, so before he went to America. So I think uh, you Those don't have to say that. It was opportune. He take the advantage, use the opportunity. Right. You can see, okay, let me tell you this. A lot of our fighters that do better, that do well, must stay here. Oh? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, do, do you think do you think uh, uh, Joshua has to fight in Nigeria to revitalize the, to revitalize to bring awareness to boxing there because boxing is not really a huge sport in Nigeria. You know that. Yes. And it should be. So I think it. it you know, you, you saw what uh, Muhammad Ali and Joshua fight did for uh, Zaire Congo. Oh. Rumble so yeah. So if in in 1970, uh, 1979. So if something if Joshua were to fight Nigeria. It will bring a lot of fans, a lot of people, and people will get. We will be exposed to the sport. We would like to. They would like to see more Nigerian fighters like that. I'm telling you right now. If you will come down to Nigeria, I'll be happy to fight on the card. It exposed me to the world. Let people know me, me fighting on the card. You know, you know, Joshua. We are talking. You know, Joshua. We are talking today. In fact, Joshua, Joshua might be the only one now to actually, because Joshua has connection with with a uh, genuine people in Nigeria. There. Yeah, but I don't think he's ready to do such. But if he's ready to do so, any promotion that I have, yeah, it's only if his promotion is coming to Nigeria to make the fight possible. No, 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 no. I'm yeah. not. I'm not talking about coming. But listen, Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn might have to, might have to listen. Eddie Matru might go to Nigeria and and scout some talents there. But I'm saying, Joshua can bring his man. He can bring. He can open a branch of his management company. AJ Boxing and of course 258 uh, MGT. It can yeah, open a branch in Nigeria be, where it will manage be, boxers be, and from there, you know, and start putting them on the undercards in Europe, in America, in many, many places. Yeah, from there, you start knowing them. Is, so, the you're talking about is help our fighter. This is what they do in South Africa. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Like, this is what I'm saying. Even, even, even to be sincere with you, Ga Ga Ghanaian boxing is far more better than Nigerian boxing because he's more organized there. When I was in Ghana, in Ghana, you fight everything. I told you. He's more organized there. He's more organized there. Uh, he's more organized there. Uh, and also, uh, you know, the, the TV, the TV networks, uh, there are multiple TV networks that I want to show you about. In Nigeria, only go TV or silver bed is not enough. To, to expose boxing to the wider audience. You know? You so, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Just use the network. In Ghana, they fight every two weeks in Ghana. No promotion. But every month they do. Are you there? Mm hmm. So, I'm, I'm, here, I'm here, bro. In, in Nigeria, there is no much promoter in Nigeria. Very interesting, bro. I'm proud. I'm proud of. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud that uh, you are. You are very serious about what you do, and uh, you like, like you, you represent Nigeria well, despite all the hardship, despite all the what was some crook, crook minded Nigerians have have tried to, uh, uh, have tried to, have tried to implement on you. You've managed to survive and still stay strong. Yes, I've uh, managed to survive. Yes. Uh, Ta I'm here, man. Uh, Emma Tom, Tom, like, do you guys have anything, have anything to say to him before we vamoot? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, showboy. Yeah, bro, I'm with you. Yeah, uh, please, uh, keep your head up, and uh, yes, always, whenever you have the time, always train, because yes, there's always an opportunity when there's a fighter who is always injured and cannot and cannot fight. That, yeah, is your, no, no. that would be a time to take up the man, take up the, take up that fight, and take up that mantle and show the world. It is yeah. your, it, it, it is your manager's duty to make sure he's, he's keeping, he's also watching the sport, not just yeah. because, not, not just managing you. He's also yeah. watching, who, who, he's also watching, um, uh, 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 um, uh, Jojo Diaz, uh, Tevin Farmer. He, he Got to make sure he's watching and paying attention to these guys. These are people I like to fight. Yes. I'm yes. sending him a lot, a lot of messages. Don't, don't, don't worry. They're not. They, 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 it's because you're over there. A lot of them sent messages to him. Got a lot of junior. They never replied. Because it's because you're over there Instagram. and they're not taking post, you serious. I post almost every day. Yeah. No it's week I didn't post on my page. What was it? Was it Instagram? Was it Instagram handle? Was it Instagram handle? Bro? He underscored the real store underscored boy. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're right, King Lawa. You see. I, yeah, he's time. in there. But you see, the thing is, they're not taking My you Twitter, serious. Really want a while too. Is 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 because you're you're in a you're you're in Africa. Serious. They think you're not just another another. Uh, uh, how do you say it? Another uh, game fighter. You know. I get you. But but I, I once you once you showcase 
they will be afraid of you. They, they don't know. They don't. They don't know who you are. But yeah. once you show them what you have, they will be afraid of you. My friend, yes. just you know, just like I said, you keep you keep fighting. You keep punching. All yes. right. Because when yes. the opportunity comes, just like Andrew Ruiz had that opportunity, that will yes. be your time to take it up. Please, just keep doing that. Keep yeah, running. Bro, keep practicing. You. Keep training. Yeah. Do not give up. All right. And we are going to try yeah, for our end. Okay. Yeah, bro. Wow. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. You've been doing it. Listen, bro, like this, this has really made you, made you like, made you strong. You know what I mean? Your experience has made you strong. And that is nice. That is nice. A bosser <laughs> has to, a bosser have to have such experience because so many crooks in the game, bro. So many chameleons, bro. BBC might have to start going in, going in hard on some of them very soon. Just wait. We are, some things are on the way. We we'll have to keep our mouth shut first. When it's time, we'll release everything then. It's crazy, no man. No problem, no problem. Hey, Tom, uh, talk to him yeah. and then we... Yeah, yeah Mr. Lama, the real show boy. The real show boy. Well, um, I just want to appreciate everything bro, you're bro, doing. I'm with you. I'm with you. you Military? I also want to thank you for being a sport lover, a yes, boxer sir. that is going to make yes. a name for yourself and our country, trying to rewrite our nation in in the map. Yeah, you yeah. are the real showboy. Keep your head high, just like my brother. Thank you. You get it. For calling the real <laughs> showboy, like my brother has said time. to you, keep your you head very said. high. Better things are coming to Nigeria. It's unfortunate that most of us in Nigerians. Most of Nigerians, instead of helping the sport to grow, are actually the people destroying the sport in Africa. I have a lot of questions I would have asked you. I have a lot of things I would have said. And I'm going to put that a little bit, uh, pause on certain questions yeah. until I find certain answers. I uh, will have you again in that show. You're doing very well. Your fight coming in January. I definitely would watch your fight. I will yeah. see what we can do to take you to another level. Thank you, bro. I'm, I'm very happy for you. The other level is what I'm waiting for. That's what Thank I'm you. waiting for. I'm gonna make you people proud. Thanks, bro. Yeah, yeah. Say something. We're listening. We're listening. I'm going to do all my best because I promised myself me being caught up, not going to Olympic. I'm gonna this 2020. I'm gonna be in the rating of world champion, even the lowest. That's my aim. And bro, if you ever, if you ever, if your fight ever takes you to here to New York, please contact me and Emerton. No problem, we, will do our, no problem. we will do our homework and make sure you are you know, everything, everything that is that is promised to you. Here no problem, is bro. We are family. We are family. We are brothers. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Okay, bro. Thanks a lot for joining us. For joining BBC Raw, BBC Raw session. <laughs> I love in Japanese, man. So, guys, stay blessed to your Christian book. Make una una yera now, una yera na. Make this what this is what I call a patriotic Nigeria. Instead, we have some chameleon-minded people. It's crazy, but I appreciate what you do. And believe me, you have my you have my support hundred percent. There is no listen hundred percent, hundred percent. Give my support. Hopefully, yes, hopefully you you keep being. You keep being patriotic. You keep doing what's right, like you're doing now. I like it. Despite all the things you've been through, despite all what people have tried to 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 use against you, you're still very very loyal. You're still very very dedicated. You're still very very yes, serious sir. and focused on your target. Yes, sir. Okay, I bro. Like you follow my page so that I could... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will follow your page definitely. I'll follow, I'll follow your page. Okay. I will follow your page. I will even, you know, uh, you know. Instagram, Twitter. Yeah, bro. No problem. Stay blessed, bro. Stay blessed. Thanks for reaching out. Okay, okay bye. Great for you. Yeah, for you. Yeah, bro. Oh, By the way, tomorrow is my birthday, so. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm going. Yeah, yeah, bro. No problem. You're too much. If this is you around, you can. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe next year, if everything goes well, am I, am I, am I, am I, am I come to Nigeria? Time is gone. Happy birthday, BBC. Uh, uh, thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Uh, we'll talk about it, bro. Come to my house. Let's celebrate your birthday. You're too much, brother. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Uh, thanks, bro. Cheers. Uh,